What's up YouTube points from today? We're playing Pokemon Showdown. It's been a while since I played this. Um, in all honesty, I just haven't got a Storm video ready and quick enough, so this is going to be the video for today. I said I was going to do an Elite Four version of the gym battles, so here it is. The first gym leader is Lorelei. We have um, a bunch of cool Pokemon. There are only four Ice Pokemon in Kanto, so the other two are just Pokemon. It just felt like using. Uh, Lapras was like kind of the main Pokemon in this sort of set. Like he was a Perish Song. Killer. I managed to get like three, I think the maximum I got was like three kills just with Lapras before. Um, but, you know, it, it wasn't really working too well. So here is the the only match, actually. No, I won two. So this is, this is the only good match that I actually won out of like the 30 matches I did. Uh, this team was like walled so easily with most of the OU Pokemon. So, I mean, I, was, I kept getting swept by like Superiors and stuff and oh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, so here it is. Alright, so here's my team lineup. I've got Krabby, I've got a Mega Slowbro, Lapras, uh, what's her name? Jinx. Um, why don't I know his name? You know what that is. Anyway, so he sent out a Don fan. I'm like, okay, Lapras, this is going to be my Perish Song Lapras. Uh, so I have Block on this thing. So what's going to happen is he's going to use Block and then he protects and then he usually swaps out, but it depends on what's there. I mean, Lapras is pretty much destroyed already, there's nothing he can do. So after Protect, um, I end up going for a dive just to, you know, let Lapras die as well so no one else has to take the brunt of that earthquake. And yeah, so they both die, that sucks. Oh well, moving on. Kingler's next, this is a banded Kingler, it's one of my favourite Pokemon to use, banded. Um, I just went straight for a water thingy, but it didn't kill it and it sucks. I was like, maybe this thing had some like defensive um, EVs, because that, that really sucked, man. That solar beam destroyed me anyway. So I was expecting Dugon to survive this. I went for a hail. I mean, no, sorry, I went for a fake out. And then next turn, I was planning on going for a hail to try and um, cancel this out because the sunlight was definitely not good for my team. Uh, this is like a really bulky Dugon. And yeah, so Executor used solar beam just like I expected it to. Uh, it's got like max HP, max special defense, and it lives on obviously hail and. Uh, Leftovers, so every turn he gets like one eighth health back or something like that. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty generic set that I think most people now to use this do. Um, so I protected to get some health back. There was no way I was going to survive where everyone was going to throw at me, but you know, just stall out a bit more, get some more chip damage on the executor with the um, hail. So uh, I swap out because I'm like, you know what, I don't want to lose it this early. Fake out is very useful. So Jinx has to take that Psychic, it does it pretty well considering there's like nothing in Thingy in um, Special Defense. This is a, uh, what's it called, uh, Specs Jinx, so it's pretty pretty damn powerful actually. It's like only attacking me as a Psychic and Grass Knot because, you know, it, I just needed to, um, I, I, I just needed Grass Knot coverage and I had to get rid of Ice Beam because I also have Trick and Wish on that thing. Uh, yeah, as you saw, Dugong had to die in order for me to be able to continue. Um, Slowbro came out. It was a bit of a waste, actually. Yeah, Dugong. Oh, well. um, I used that, but luckily, because I swapped out the Jinx from before, the Sleep Claws is still in effect, so I kill it with a Fire Blast. Fire Blast is very useful on this thing. I'm not a fan of playing Slowbro, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so this thing comes out. I'm like, okay, well, let's just go for a Scold. Please, please, please kill it. Like, oh my god, because I know these things can be, like, really, really powerful sometimes. And it killed it, so that was brilliant. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, I like this new layout I'm using Pokemon Showdown as well, but that's not what we're talking about, shush. Uh, Salamence comes in, I'm like, okay, I can, it, it didn't do, like, any damage, I can easily stall this out. So, this is a pretty long bit, I'm gonna fast forward it a bit. As you can see, it has a life orb, so, you know, I just have to let it kill itself, so I use this, uh, thingy here. But it bloody dragon dances, like, okay, that's getting kind of scary. And then it attacked this turn, so it killed itself, and I was like, oh man, that's the turn that I was attacking. <laughs> I was scared it would set up and just one hit me. So it used Earth Power, and I was like, okay, it's not doing that much. I can beat this thing. Um, let's just go for it. It used Solar Beam. I was like, ooh, I don't know if how well Slowbro can take this. So I was like, okay, let's sacrifice Jinx. Um, and then next turn, we'll send out Thingy uh, Cloyster. My Cloyster's pretty bulky. It's got like a rocky helmet. It, it's, just, it's a physical wall, though, so it did nothing. So, okay, Slowbro came in. I was like, I'm going to have to you know, face this Solar Beam eventually. So use Solar Beam. I'm like, please, please, one hit kill. And of course it didn't, so I have to survive the Solar Beam if I want to win. So then the Solar Beam's on its way. Slowbro has absolutely nothing in Special Defense, and it survives! That must have been like a min damage situation, because that was crazy that it survived. I was really happy about that, though. So that's my win. Um, I pretty much only won because of Mega Slowbro, but... Actually, Mega Slowbro was a reason. I mean, OU, I could have played in UU if it wasn't for that. 
but whatever. The guy I was playing with is really awesome too, we had a good chat after that, and during the match actually, so yeah. Right, the next uh, Pokemon theme team that I'll be doing, maybe not tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see, would be Bruno, I think? I'm pretty sure it's Bruno. Yeah, Bruno's the next Elite Four member, he's going to be a full fighting type team, a chance on my favourite Pokemon, so this is going to be awesome. Yeah, anyway guys, if you enjoyed that, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more. Anyway guys, until next time, goodbye.